Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Quinchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. Gasoline. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure, the way out of this disco inferno. had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. They'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. 
I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone.
wait for her. James Mugliano. Max Payne. Talk to me. Alfred Woden. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed on the manor grounds. You must hurry. The more the merrier. Punchinello's trio was done for. Outside my door. Hurry. It's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him nothing. Outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble on dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. 